gentlemen. Dragonfly Thorns. They are good at this, aren't you? Shall we try it, sir? Spectacular! A dab hand at Herbology, too. But you shouldn't be walking about at night, Harry. Actually, sir, I'm just about to go for a walk down to Hagrid's. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, but I can't allow you to go off walking the castle grounds alone. Well, by all means, come with me, sir. I knew you'd come to Morin, old Aragog. My oldest friend he was. Aragog? A giant spider. An acromantula that lived in the forest. Hagrid counted him as a friend. Even though it tried to eat me. <laughs> he was just being friendly. <laughs> Hagrid, not to be indelicate, but acromantula venom is very valuable. Would you mind if I extracted a vial or two? Then, maybe spoke a few words over the deceased. Oh, Aragog. I miss you, old friend. <laughs> Farewell, Aragog, king of arachnids. May your many-eyed descendants ever flourish. A toast to the funeral of a friend. <coughs> I'm so sorry for your loss, Hagrid. <laughs> to Aragog. To Aragog. Do you know why I survived? The night Voldemort killed my parents. Oh, don't, my boy. Your mother... Oh, she was one of my absolute favorites. She sacrificed herself for me. For everybody. Professor, I'm going to tell you something. It's true. I am the Chosen. Only I can kill Voldemort. But I need your memory to do it. I need that memory so my mother's sacrifice wasn't for nothing. Here, 
Don't think too badly of me. You don't know what he was like, even then. I think Dumbledore will want to see you, now you have my memory. Run, Harry, run! Oh, wow, it got dark quickly. Lumos! Bang! Look who's still creeping about! I haven't got time for this! You're going nowhere! Still go back! Malfoy will join his loser father in Azkaban before he ever beats me. Sir, I've got it. I've got the memory from Slughorn. This is spectacular news. I knew oh, you could do it. It seems to me the hound has been rolling to just pet. Sir, I've got it. I've got it. Look sharp there, Tom. Now, at last, we shall see. Poor Cruxes. That's very dark stuff indeed, Tom. To make one, you would have to split your soul. And to do that, well, murder. Killing rips the soul apart. To think of doing that once is a violation against nature, but seven times. So, Horace told Tom Riddle about Horcruxes. You see, a Horcrux is an object in which a person has concealed part of their soul. And while the Horcrux exists, that person cannot die. Do you think that's what Voldemort has done? He succeeded in making a Horcrux. Oh, he succeeded. And not just once. He made seven. He tore his soul into seven pieces. One resides within him, the other six. Well, you encountered one Horcrux here in your second year. Tom Riddle's diary. I have accounted for another in the form of this ring. That's how you hurt your hand? And that's where you've been going? To search for the Horcruxes? Yes, Harry. And I think, perhaps, I have found the third. When the time comes, I shall need your help to destroy it. And Snape's making you do the detention? No! He knows it's the deciding match. You'll have to fly instead of me. Dean can take your place as chaser. 
gossiping when you should be waiting by my office, Potter. That will be ten points from Gryffindor. What for? I'm not late. I'm not late, sir. There's no need to call me sir, Professor. I would have thought you had enough detentions after the incident with Draco Malfoy. Do you require another? Twenty points from Gryffindor. And go to my office. Gryffindor will just have to manage without their chosen one. Poor Gryffindor. Fourth place in the Quidditch Cup this year, I fear. Win that match, Ginny. Win the cup for Gryffindor. Where's Harry? Snape made him do detention. I'm flying as seeker today. Great. If we win this game, we could win the cup. That's what I promised Harry we would do. We are going to win the cup. Stop being so sulky and let's look at the notice board for the warm-up Harry's planned. Right. Here's what we're going to do. 